makes me feel good because I know how good the players feel. You know, I get to enjoy this in 2006. We recruited this, some of these guys off those dreams, told them it was possible again. Um, and uh, to see them come here and see the outpouring and support is awesome. You know, they were fired up from the time they got on the plane. So I'm very appreciative of everybody showing up coming out and giving us all that uh, beaver love. When you were growing up here, you played here, you coached here, and now uh, all the success, did you ever dream you would return at this great? No. I mean, I dreamed about, you know, playing in the NBA or in the NFL or in the big leagues, but I didn't ever think I'd be coaching. And then when, uh, we, you know, when I started coaching, I always thought that, you know, you set a goal and have a dream and you work and if you achieve that, you move on to a bigger one. And, I knew that we could get out there and, you know, compete on the national stage when we had to become a conference back in 99. And, uh, we got our tail kicked pretty good the first couple of years in there. And, uh, we've only been a con in, in the Pac-12 as a conference since 99. So, you know, uh, to win that thing five times and win three national championships just tells you what happens when we got the opportunity to go out and compete. And I don't think anybody thought baseball existed this for the, the uh, the United States of America is a, is a uh, reunion for Texas and Florida and Miami. I'm proud of the fact that we got to go down and represent the great state of Florida. Um, they give them so much that happened up here, especially in game two. How do you keep the game calm uh, during all those moments, especially in that ninth inning? Well, you know, I think you prepare all the time to win a college world series. <laughs> so, you know, the hay was in the barn. We'd practice, we'd been in tight situations, we'd work, we got up early, we'd stayed up late, we played in the rain, played in the sun, we played in the wind. We just, I, I knew nothing would bother us, I, you know, but that doesn't guarantee you're going to play very well. You know, game one, we didn't play well at all, uh, but we weren't intimidated, we weren't, um, you know, we weren't in a, an environment we thought we couldn't handle, we just didn't play well, so I knew that they were going to handle everything. you got to have a couple breaks, the break for us obviously was ball dropping between three guys there and giving us another uh, breath of life. But, um, you know, in reality, you know, the biggest uh, situation happened when they capitalized on that and got us together and then we took off. How do you, it never gets old, though. No, not that. That doesn't get old at all. How do you decompress from something like this? What do not, you... I'm not sure yet. You know, um, you got a little experience in this. Yeah, I do, and I don't really remember too much. <laughs> I think I was coming back on the plane in 06, trying to figure out the lineup for 07. I remember that. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to do in the summertime. You know, I always evaluate myself at the end of every year. You know, um, I've been doing this for a long time, and uh, I always want to make sure that when I do it, that I do it at the level of which I expect myself to perform at, and I have the energy to do it. So, you know, I just uh, yeah. stay, go to work, yeah. probably go see somebody play tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>